Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit rough today. I am kind of under the weather right now, but I wanted to make sure I could at least get some niche out for you guys. Um, if niche is missing at all this week, then I will try my absolute best to make it up for you guys next week when I am hopefully back to my old self. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at the pack here because I feel like it's been a while. I actually miss these guys. It's been quite a while since we had checked out what they were all up to. The last time we were here, we had a little bit of a baby boom in the pack, and of course, some of them were luckier than others. Um, Rurotaku here got the uh, short end of the stick in many ways. We kind of experimented on him to see if we could breathe those blue eyes on him, and while we did, he does technically have blue eyes, so we technically succeeded. He also inherited the blind eye trait, so we can't even see them, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, then we have Malala back here, who is a little bit more um, sick than most of the other creatures in her pack because of her immunity genes. So she has two of the same immunity genes, and that means that she is um, more likely to catch colds. Then, though, we have this gorgeous family over here, thanks to a Duck Nu. This has got to be my favorite family in the entire tree right now. They are just gorgeous, so handsome over here. Actually, Duck Nu bred with um, Izmi, who we found a couple episodes back ago, which is why their sons have um, these paws, these big giant claws kind of waving at us right now. And Izmi is, unfortunately, one of these skeletons uh, surrounding the nest right now, which is a little bit disturbing, but I'm sure Duck New will be um, a very good father. I'm sure he can take care of his two sons here. But his sons, not only are they gorgeous, but they also have some very good genes. They both have the blue eyes in the recessive genes, and neither of them have the blind eye trait. So that's already looking so much better than uh, most of the others in our pack. It is quite likely that we would be able to breathe the blue eyes just using Duck New's sons. So that's something that I'm definitely looking forward to doing in the future. But we have to uh, bring our scouts back too. I feel so bad for these guys. They're getting quite old now and we are running very low on females. We have um, the final triplet, I believe, in the original litter of Adam and Eve, who was just barely, barely uh, scraping the end of her life here. It is possible that we could maybe have one more baby with her. So I'm thinking what we'll do is bring um, Kurta back and try to breed him with her again. I believe they were actually the parents of Duck News, so this might be very good for us. Um, we'll go ahead and move little Tanu out of the nest, and we'll see if we could possibly make this happen. Um, you need to get just close enough here, and I know that, uh, I know Karasi is on bunny duty right now, so I feel a little bit bad taking her off of that. But, um, it'll just be for a moment, right? And we do need to find somebody who can take her place anyway, because she is getting very, very old. So we'll have her pick a couple berries in the meantime, and, uh, Duck New, you can actually join in too, because I think you're actually better at collecting. There we go. Oh, and my goodness, oh my goodness, we have a little bunny up here too who's trying to steal the berries, in fact. Okay, so not only did these guys manage to find a berry bush, but they also found a lot of bunnies up here. But we do want to bring um, Terrovine back too because he has some new genes that we could possibly bring into the pack. And I'm thinking I might try to breed him with Malala right now. So we need to be very, very careful about how we use our turns here because I have a feeling he's probably going to pass away in the next uh, turn or so. He is very close to a dying as well. So I think we are going to let you live another day, little bunny, because I'm not sure if I could uh, outmaneuver you in just a couple turns. And he's just sitting there just munching on those berries. You can already see he uh, popped one right in his mouth. So we'll move Terrovan way over here, and then we'll also have to actually move the um, baby out of the nest, little blind baby. We'll place him by the berry bush so he can help us out in the future. And then um, we'll breed Terrovan with, oh no, oh no, I messed that up, didn't I? Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that Malala had no more turns left, no more turns at all. So I'm not sure if we'll actually be able to uh, do that. Unfortunately, Rossi has one of the same immunity genes, so I'm a little bit concerned that that might be a problem. Um, they also have the blind eyes and the recessive, so I feel like it's a little bit too much of a risk right now, especially since we already have one um, creature who's more likely to get sick, which is Malala, and of course we have our blind baby in Rotaku. So we are just going to uh, have to skip ahead here and cross our fingers that um, poor little Terrovan doesn't pass away in the meantime. But Rossi, you can collect these berries, I suppose. That's probably a good way to uh, spend your time right now. And then we'll pass the days after we peek in this grass with um, 
Rodukvan. Okay, so Rodukvan is one of the sons of Ducknu, which is a very fitting name. They are very, very similar. And it looks like we also unlocked a gene over here, too. Um, okay, the berry paw. They actually fixed this. This was glitched um, in the previous update. So now we successfully have unlocked the berry paw, which we can place on here at some point as well. We probably um, will do that. It would be a good idea to have like a little branch of um, berry collectors, as well as our big clawed creatures too. A lot of them have claws. I have noticed that. So we might want to switch to the berry paw very soon. But right now, why don't you come a little bit close over here so you can like peek in this grass. Maybe this bunny will hop over there. And then we'll skip the turn. Um, okay, cherry. Caravan, you're still alive. That is shocking. But we have a new little baby to look at. Let's see. This is from Kurta and Karasi. They have Rovan, their next uh, son. I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping it would be a female because we're running so low on those. But um, it looks like he is quite fine. He has the blue eyes and his recessives, of course, which is very nice to see. And um, he has the blind eyes too, so we'll keep an eye on that. But he has a big body, so he will be a little bit stronger than some of the other creatures in this pack. Now we can successfully breed these two though. We'll place um, Malala right on the nest and hopefully she'll have a very healthy baby as well. And uh, we'll pick some of these berries in the meantime. Now who should we place on bunny duty? Because someone's going to need to uh, be over here too once Karasi passes away and I believe that's going to be very, very soon. Maybe we'll place Ducknew there for now? Um, I mean, I feel like he could help us in other ways, but I suppose we could always place him on the bunny um, den just for now, just so somebody's there and we don't end up uh, missing any of these bunnies that are hopping around. There's so many down there, though. I feel like if we leave the grass in this area, they might be more likely to hop in there. I feel like um, they're less likely to hop next to you if the grass is already uh, cleared out. I'm not sure if that's going to help us, but we'll give it a try at least. And I see all of this grass rustling too right around us, which is a little bit um, nerve wracking. So let's take Terravon down here to see at least what's in this area. Um, that must be a bunny, okay, because it did move away. Now we have something over here though. Um, that might have moved too because I feel like it was right in one of these patches right here. So we might be okay. We might be okay. Um, Kurta, could you possibly go back here and try to collect us some more berries, I wonder? Um, we'll see if that's possible. Let's see. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> the bunny ate them all. Great. Okay, so we'll have to keep a closer eye on that. Um, we'll have to clear out this area too, so it's easier for our guys to kind of like get up there. Um, when there's so much grass, they aren't able to move as quickly as they would when um, the grass is cleared. So Rossi, maybe you could come up here and help us with that? I do want to possibly save her for one of Ducknew's sons. Um, maybe this one? Um, no. No, he has the same immunity gene, so Tanu would probably be the best bet because, of course, he has those blue eyes, and um, so does she, and their immunity genes do not um, interfere with each other. So we may wait until little tiny Tanu grows up so he can have a baby with Rossi. And hopefully it's soon because I just noticed that she is getting a little bit old as well. Um, we need to bring somebody else up there very quickly as well because it seems like there's a ton of bunnies up there just trying to steal all of those berries. So let's bring Rossi over here so she can get a little bit closer. We'll have her peek in this grass. Um, I see all those bunnies just swarming around poor little Kurto with his no turns. <laughs> So we can't even do anything about it. That is awful. Um, oh, there's a bunny though. There we go. So the little baby is really helping us out here because he can just kind of like grab those in um, the tall grass when they come by. And um, let's see, is there anything else that we should do? Maybe we should just skip the turn. Um, I'm not sure if we can really bring anyone else up there. Of course, we don't want to bring the blind baby up there because he needs um, other people to help him see. Karasi might be able to position herself just right. Um, it doesn't look like it though, all of the bunnies kind of hopped away, so she'll just use her last turn to kind of peek in the grass. And I think we'll skip ahead now because I don't want to use up too much of our food. We did have quite a bounty from uh, before, and there they go, starting to drop like flies as well. So we want to be careful about that. Um, we'll grab this bunny before he hops away though, there we go. And um, now we have a spit snout, guys. We have a spit snout baby. Oh my gosh. She looks very, very plain, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, her immunity genes are fine. She does have the blind eyes and her recessive, but she has that gorgeous spit snout. <laughs> that very, very charming spit snout, I should say. So at least we are successfully breeding that into our line. Now we have a little line of spit snouts to go along with um, all of the rest. And she also has the big claws, so she'll be able to help us when um, we're fighting all of 
those carnivores, which is definitely good because the carnivores give us um, quite a bit of food. So we want to make sure that we take those out as fast as we possibly can. Now, Kurta, you are still alive, and I'm kind of surprised about that. Um, all of these must be bunnies in here. We'll have him pick the berries and then kind of like peek in the grass. So hopefully um, whoever else comes up here will be able to... Yep, of course, you move there right when I'm out of turns. Whoever comes up here will um, hopefully be able to keep a closer eye on those bunnies in the meantime. Um, Karasi, you can help out as well because you are definitely about to pass away. Um, I can't imagine that she will be sticking with us any longer. Um, we'll have Rotaku pick some berries and I think that's about it for food. I believe that's about it until the next uh, big rainfall anyway, so we might again skip ahead. It looks like um, Tanu is almost fully grown, so we shouldn't have too much longer to wait before he can breed with Rossi over here. And we'll see if we could possibly maybe get those blue-eyed babies. I'm definitely crossing my fingers, so we'll have her just peek in this grass right here, and then uh, you guys can skip ahead. Um, it looks like there goes Karasi. Okay, I had a feeling that she would definitely pass away. Um, and let's see, now we can grab up these berries too, there we go. And it looks like you are still alive too, but he is definitely passing away in the next turn. Um, I'm going to move you right here, so maybe if those bunnies hop by again you can grab one. We'll see if that works. Um, we'll use up some of our other turns and just keep looking up at that grass to see if any of them move into uh, the correct position. And um, Malala, since you are so strong, you can come up here and help us kind of clear out the area to make sure there's no uh, carnivores lurking around. And there we go! There we go. So can I get that bunny? It doesn't seem like I can get that bunny for some reason. Um, do you not have any attacking power? Oh my goodness, okay, so that's interesting. Kurta cannot attack, so he can't actually um, kill those bunnies, but can you attack? Let's see, you have attack, so you can grab that bunny for us. There we go, at least somebody managed to get us a little bit of meat. Um, can somebody come over here and collect it though? That is the question. Um, I suppose we'll have to wait till the next turn to grab up the meat with um, the little blind baby. At least he can do something. I mean, he can collect the berries two at a time and he can snag the uh, little bunnies if they happen to hop past him. So he's not completely like sitting there like um, useless or something. I know a few of you were a little bit upset with um, these poor blind babies because it seems like they don't really have much to do in their lives, but at least this guy is really helping us out. He looks like a little Dalmatian too, doesn't he? That is a Adorable. Oh my gosh, um, the white fur and the little spots. That is really cute. He actually has a combination of gray and yellow, so it's a little bit of a cream color, but it is adorable nonetheless. So let's see, Rossi, um, you're getting quite old. Hopefully Tanu is going to grow up in the next turn. Um, we'll move Malala right there, and uh, oh my gosh, that is just like a tease, such a tease. They know that uh, that Kurta can't actually bother them now, so we'll have him peek in the grass, I guess, just for the sake of it, because we know that he can't attack, and um, that's about it. I don't want to use up too many turns, so we'll skip ahead right now. And there he goes, um, right at the rain, actually, right as soon as it rains. So that berry bush is going to be full, but not for very long, I have a feeling, because of course those bunnies are going to pick them uh, away very, very quickly. We'll have the blind baby grab these before the bunny just picks it clean. Oh my goodness. And then you can pick up that meat that you caught in the last turn. You are getting very close to Rossi here. I see you, little guy. I see you just a little bit closer and we can snag you. <laughs> he is very, very close. Oh gosh, it is very tricky to grab those guys when they're hopping around you. And unfortunately, I have way too many bunnies just like consuming the territory right now. Um, we really need to get some more of those females in the pack though. We have uh, Siko, who is hopefully going to help us out, but Malala is getting a little bit old, so is Rossi. Oh my gosh, guys. So maybe Malala, is there anyone else that she could breed with? Um, we definitely just want to make sure that none of them have the immunity F gene. That's probably the best way to uh, make sure that they're not going to um, become sick. We could possibly try Duck New. Um, we could see what they give us. That might be a good idea. He does not have the immunity gene F, so maybe we could see if that works. Um, it looks like the rest of their genes kind of line up with each other as well, so hopefully this will be a good pair. Um, is there anything that we could add to the mutation menu to see if we could like possibly get something better out of this? 
Um, the big nose doesn't really do anything yet, has no effect just yet with um, the smelling buff, so we don't need to worry about that. I mean, we could try to put the berry paw in instead of the claw, just so we have the berry paw in the line, because now that Kurta has passed away, I believe um, this might be our only berry paw. Yeah, yeah, Rossi is the only one with the berry paw right now, so we might just want to see if we can possibly keep it in the line um, in some form. So we'll bring Malala down here to breed with Duck Nu, and we'll see how that goes. There we go. And then we have to move the little baby out of the nest, of course. And um, we'll move her right there, and then we'll move Malala into the nest. And hopefully that'll produce something good. And I see this guy. He's eyeing up this berry bush now. No, little guy. You need to go away. <laughs> you are not taking any more of my berries. Thank you very much. I have a feeling they're all probably right up there munching away at every single berry on that bush. Um, I don't want to move Rossi too far away because I have a feeling that um, this baby Tanu is going to grow up if I do. So we'll just leave her right there. Um, I suppose you could do some exploring. Roduk Fawn, you could definitely do a little bit of exploring at least. Why don't you grab that berry to, uh, to just finish picking off the uh, bush clean and then we'll move you right there so hopefully you can like snag some of these bunnies as they hop around. Um, we'll give it a try anyway. And uh, let's see. Okay, so Tanu grew up. That is good to see. And we have a new baby over here. And it's a girl, too. So very, very good. Cirella. That is a cute name. Um, and her genes look just fine. Her immunity gene, um, she didn't inherit her mother's immunity gene issue, so that should be perfectly fine. And it looks like her eyes are normal as well. So there we go. That is good. And we have a little bunny to grab, too. Oh, I'm not going to let you get away. There we go. Okay, so let's grab some more berries off of here. You can actually pick the berries because you are a little bit better at that. And um, something is right here. I have a feeling it's probably a bunny, though. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't expect that. Um, you will feed us very, very well, though, so that's no problem at all. Actually, I think Tanu could probably take him down. Yeah, right now. All right. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. Um, let's see now. I think I want to uh, breed Rossi with him right away, though, because she is getting very, very old, and we don't want to miss our chance. So we'll move this guy out of the nest, and then we'll breed them and uh, pop her right in there. And now he can properly pick up um, all of that food. I just want to make sure they had enough turns to get all of that done properly um, and I think that's good I think we're probably good for this turn um, again I don't want to use too much food just in case we run into any more troubles with them um, the carnivores and duck new how are you doing you're actually not too old yet so that's good to see we could possibly bring him out too to help us explore a little bit because he is quite strong he has the big body and the antlers so he does have quite a bit um, on his attack he has four for attack strength so not bad at all he's definitely doing all right he's um up there quite high compared to uh, some of our other creatures at least. So let's bring Malala up here to uh, also help explore. We'll have her peek in here at um, these cactuses that we can't currently do anything with, unfortunately. And then um, I think we're good. Oh, and we unlocked another gene. The big ears, guys. Yes. Oh my goodness. I love the big ears. They are adorable. We definitely want to see if we can uh, plop this on our creatures, I think. We'll uh, give it a try once at least. We'll see if we can get at least one of our creatures with big ears before we pick um, a better gene to place there. So there we go. We'll see um, if this works. The little baby, are you gonna give us? Oh my gosh, does he have the big ears already? Was it that quick? Oh my gosh, he looks like a little bunny rabbit, doesn't he? And I, I guess he doesn't have uh, the big ears. It does look like it though, doesn't he? It looks like he has um, these big giant floppy ears, but they're just normal ears, just um, medium sized ears. He does carry the poison fangs in his recessive, which is quite interesting to see. It's actually very tricky to uh, get the poison fangs to stay on your little creatures, I've noticed. So it is good to see that he at least has it in his recessive slot. And other than that, he's doing quite fine. So Kikiru, that is adorable too. These these names are so cute. Um, so there we go. They are definitely a good pair to breed. Um, we will probably do that again in the future after we pick some more berries here. There we go. And um, oh my gosh, they are just so gorgeous though, aren't they? Look at this family. They are definitely my favorite right now. They are definitely my favorite. These two little boys here with um, their antlers and their ram horns and their majestic claws that are waving to us. I wonder what's back here though. Do you think it's another uh, bunny or another carnivore? We might as well take a look at that before we end out the episode, so we'll bring you a little bit closer to see. Um, it looks like we're going to have to bring maybe one of the suns up there. 
Let's see what's up here, guys. Oh my gosh, it must have just been a bunny then. <laughs> and these guys keep uh, hopping out too. So at least we don't have to really worry about that. At least it's not um, a carnivore. I was hoping it would be somebody we could bring into the pack, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. There must be another um, wandering little critter out here somewhere, I would imagine. There must be. I mean, there's so much rustling grass right now, so we'll definitely have to investigate that in the future. But we're doing all right for ourselves. At least uh, we have managed to properly keep uh, the blind gene contained and we are definitely strengthening our little pack at least because of all of these creatures with the big bodies and the antlers and the ram horns so I am very happy to see where our family is currently going and hopefully soon we'll be blessed with a little blue-eyed baby from one of Duck News sons we'll have to wait and see though so thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you all next time bye guys